My name is Jasmina Kimova and I'm a photographer based in Beaufort, South Carolina. The name of the exhibition is Faces of Fashion and uh, how that came about is really more about the migration of uh, portrait photography and the influence of fashion and uh, travel and uh, elements used to change the ambience and the atmosphere. So this is my first solo exhibition in Beaufort, so I'm very excited and nervous if they're gonna like me. But um, I'm just gonna uh, be open. And uh, I think uh, even if you fail at something, it's a learning experience. And um, I think I have put my heart and soul in this. And um, I think most people can feel that. And I really uh, love all my clients. I really connect with them on a very personal level and they all have become my friends. There will be information here while the show is on. And um, they just need to reach me, find me. It's in, on Ladies Island, my studio. Uh, and um, I will be happy to see them. I don't book anything until we meet because I want this to be a very custom experience for them. And uh, we will talk about what to wear, uh, how to prepare and uh, how do they want to be photographed, most of, important of all. Uh, it's not, I don't clone people, use the same wardrobe, it's all about what they want, who they are, and uh, I try to bring, bring the best of them. First of all, I'm not a very formal person, uh, and although some of the things we do are formal, I want people to feel like they're coming and visiting a friend. And uh, we usually have coffee in the morning, we have breakfast if somebody hasn't had breakfast, we, we have a few champagne if we need to have champagne. I think having an atmosphere like you're in somebody's home, it's much more uh, welcoming than uh, meeting in an office or like a secretary meets you. And uh, it's just, I just want them to feel really relaxed. That's the, 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 main, the main idea. It's more about you come at nine o'clock in the morning. There is a hair and makeup artist there for you, so it's, uh, leaving all your worries who you are at home and I, I like to see it as almost like going uh, to a spa and it's uh, giving you the permission to be who you are or who you want to be or it can be fantasy it can be dream world but a completely transformational experience that it's going to put you somewhere where you want to be no matter what that is and after a while something happens like I feel it we come into a flow somehow and it's like there is no difference who's taking the picture I feel like they're posing for me but I'm also posing for them and it's like dancing and we're dancing and literally I have danced on some shoots I mean depending on who you photograph and every person no matter if it's a little girl or somebody in their 60s they inspire something in me that I cannot explain we just we just bond and it's just us and we have fun and we laugh and we talk and we exchange uh, I mean conversations that you would not normally exchange with with everybody else but there is something about that I, I cannot explain what it is but I, I love it I want them to say oh my this was the best day ever I had so much fun uh, that's all I want them to really have fun um, forget about their problems and just uh, enjoy that day uh, like like uh, most girls would. And I, I have not met a girl who doesn't want to be dressed up, uh, put makeup on, and just uh, play for a day without um, any expectations from her. Most women are so uh, responsible, taking care of their kids, taking care of their husbands, thinking, I mean, always worrying about other people. And I want that day to be just for them. Don't, they don't worry about anybody else. They don't worry even about themselves. Somebody else worries about everything. And they just relax. I think that's where the fine art comes now. At this point, I have to spend at least two weeks retouching and editing the photos, uh, making them feel more like fine art, less than a photograph. And uh, I love doing that also, uh, but the, what I live for, other than having fun at the shoot, is that to see their faces when they come for their reveal. We as women are so critical to ourselves, and um, I just want every woman to exist in the photos for their children for the people that love them. And uh, a lot of women think it's narcissistic to take a portrait. Uh, and I, I have been trying to educate people to understand that you don't take the portrait for you, you take it for your children. You take it for the people that love you so they can see you and, and um, just uh, appreciate you because they love you much more than you love yourself most of the time. And uh, it's about really falling in love with yourself.
and who you are and, and just loving um, that moment and you want to treasure it and pass it on to your kids and, and that's why I put them in a box so uh, they can display their portraits at home in a, in a frame, they're ready to frame and everything is, is they can take it home right that day and, and pass it on to their kids.